Hello, uh, my name is Ben Batista, and I am not a cook by any means, although I wish I was. I'm gonna be doing a little cooking today with my Chef IQ smart thermometer. Uh, I'm gonna be cooking myself and my father a little Father's Day meal, uh, so let's get started. I love this packaging. Very simple, very sleek, love the colors. Got our hub here. Open up our Chef IQ app. Pair it to our smart thermometer. I already signed in. Okay, got my probe all registered. Uh, I'm gonna be picking my recipe. I think for this Father's Day, I'm gonna be cooking my dad a uh, bone-in ribeye. He loves steak, he's a huge steak guy, so I think he would love this recipe. Um, so let's go into our app here. So it looks like I can search for a recipe, so let's just search up steak. Oh, look at that. They have so many to choose from. All right, here we go. Simple seared bone-in ribeye. I think he'd love that one. So let's do that. So we're gonna start my guided cooking. I'm gonna go uh, prepare my ingredients. All right, got my ingredients all prepped. Got a beautiful steak here. I think I'm definitely gonna need to put on an apron. All right. Okay, got my steak. Got my salt, my butter, my rosemary. Hit done prepping. Gotta preheat the oven. Oh, this is, wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, turn off. Oh, that does not like to turn on easily. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Wait, over here? Yeah. That, okay. All right. That, that was dumb. Okay. All right, step one, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. All right, how do I turn this thing on? <laughs> oh my God. All right, got my oven preheating. Yay! Pat steaks with paper towel and season all over with salt and pepper. Make sure your oven is fully heated to 400 degrees before proceeding to the next step. All right, I think that looks great. All right, we're gonna select a probe. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, got our probe connected. Select doneness. I think we're gonna go with medium rare. That's how my dad likes it. That's how I like it too, conveniently. All right, holding probe parallel to work surface. Insert into the center of the meaty side of steak, not touching bone. All right. Up here. Parallel to the work surface. All right. Insert into the steak. That looks great. So three minutes on high, so turn on our stove here. All right, we're heating up our pan for the next three minutes. Let's check our stove here. Our, uh, our oven. About 200 degrees, we're almost halfway there. So, so far so good. Uh, the things I usually cook uh, range from mac and cheese, um, sometimes some, some pre-bagged dumplings or tortellini, I like those a lot. Maybe a little marinara sauce on there if I'm feeling spicy. So pretty much as basic as it gets. My dad is not a cook. We're, we're pretty similar in that way. Uh, my mom is definitely the cook of the family. Next. Gotta add the steak to the, to the skillet. Cook until nicely browned on one side, about two minutes. Over here. Oh wow, listen to that. Start our timer. All right, now I'm hungry. It looks just like what the video is showing, so, so far so good. All right, gotta flip the steak now. I'll grab this with a hot towel, just in case. All right. 
Look at that. About one minute. That looks good. I wasn't hungry before, I'm hungry now. I think just the classic steak frites uh, is the way to go. Steak and french fries. I mean, I've ordered that out countless times, so we'll see how it goes making it myself, but I'm pretty confident. All right, time for the butter and the rosemary. Okay. Oh, look at that. Just put it right on top, okay. Follow the video here. Let's see what we got. There we go, right on top there. Rosemary, all right. Seems like you just kind of laid it on like that. That's gourmet right there. That's gourmet. Never thought I'd see myself using rosemary, but here we are. All right. I think we're gonna put it in the oven now. I think it's probably good enough. Got my steak cooking over there in the oven, so I should probably get my french fries ready in the meantime, so fries please. We let it do its magic. Disastrous cooking experiences is something I'm well versed in actually. With, well, I'm not even sure if you can consider it cooking, but uh, I was in probably freshman or sophomore year of high school and I was just making some waffles before school and the toaster burst into flames. Um, so that was, that was an event. So I, I actually took uh, just a water bottle and just poured it all over it, um, which definitely it left a mark on our wall. There's still a mark there where the fire was, but it didn't burn the house down. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, you got that going for us. My dad's reaction was, why didn't you stop the fire sooner? To which I said, what was I supposed to do? I mean, the, the, the toaster just literally spontaneously combusted into flames. I would assume that the toaster experience is probably embedded into his brain for forever. Uh, so I would assume his expectations are up in the air at the moment. Almost there. It's about to, oh. For probe one. Please remove your food yeah. from heat. Carefully remove pan from oven and re reserving butter in pan, transfer steak to the cutting board. All right, here we go. Right. This back the stove right now. now that smells good. I thought it smelled good before. I was, I was in for a rude awakening. All right, Got my steak on the cutting board. Next. All right, gotta let it rest for 10 minutes. Uh, internal temperature will continue to increase, okay? Okay. I got three minutes left on my french fries. Everything's coming together here. I'm getting really excited. There we got two minutes on the dot left until this is done. It's been the longest 10 minutes of my life waiting for this steak to rest, let me tell you. Good noise right there. Uh, next step, removing probe from the steak. Cut that out. All right, slice meat away from the bone and slice steak against the grain. Okay, let's see, let's play their video. So he's got it turned over here. Turn this way, away from the bone. All right. It. Just like this. Away right from the bone. And then, looks like just like this. Yeah, it looks great. I like it just a little bit pink in the middle. Um, so, I mean, we're right in the middle and it's, it's perfect. It looks, I mean, I chose medium rare, so it should be a little bit pink and that's exactly how I like it. But more importantly, that's how my dad likes it. So, because at the end of the day, this is for him, so but I might be a little bit selfish and have a little bit more than I originally planned. Almost done here. I'll just cut this little bit away. This looks great. 
it so far. Just put this one this way. All right. I'm gonna give the rest to myself. Make it as not believable as possible that I am the one that did this. Put a little seesaw in there. Some remaining butter from the pan. Let's see here, the pan's still working. All right, that looks fantastic. All right, looks like that's it. It's the end of my recipe. And this, okay. But we have french fries still. I'm gonna use these guys. Put some french fries on here. All right. I think that looks ready to eat. Uh, I think I'm pretty confident that he's, uh, he's ready to try it. Yeah, I'm, I think it's gonna be good. I'm excited for him to try it. I'm excited for me to try it, but. I'm ready for him too. Hey there. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, happy Father's Day. <laughs> it's your <laughs> Father's Day <laughs> meal. Do you believe I made this? Do you think I made it? You think someone else did it? After the toaster fire incident a few years ago. <laughs> what do you think? No? Did you make this? Oh, I made this. I made this. Let's try it out. Move a cutting board for you. Awesome. All right, which one do you want? Any preference? This one's this great. This one right here? Yeah. Here you go. I got, got your fork and knife over there for you. Let's give it a try. I'm going to take mine. Don't block me out. <laughs> Let's see. I think it's pretty good. Oh my god. If I do say so myself. Mm. Yeah. Oh, ben. That's so good. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. After it's all said and done, I think I will be definitely using a smart thermometer a lot more. I mean, I impressed my dad, and he's got my mom who cooks for him all the time, so I have a hard competition. But, I mean, this came out perfect. It's so juicy, tastes amazing. So, Man. I don't know. I might go as far as to say this is the best Father's Day present he's ever received. This is probably not the likely present that you'd be getting for Father's Day, but it's a good one. It's amazing. Oh, it's so juicy, so tender. Every father deserves a son who's willing to make him a meal like this. Every Thank father. You. That means a lot, really. Nice job. Thanks, thanks. It is pretty delicious if I say so myself.